Hello everybody and welcome back to another book review with me, Alice Hanno. Today we are going to talk about Defy the Fae, which is book number four in the Vicious Fae series by Natalia Jaster. Now, as you can see by the stars over here, I have decided to give this book somewhere between a four and a four and a half stars. <laughs> so to be nice, I put up the four and a half stars because it doesn't get seen a lot. This is book four in her series, um, Vicious Fay, and honestly, I really love this series. I will preface this by saying that it is a, fan a romance fantasy, which means romance is the main driving force of the story series. There is also like a real plot and characters and great things in it. However, because it is a romance fantasy, the emphasis is on the romance. And so that's one of the things I actually liked about it. I picked up the first one, um, Kiss the Fae, when I wanted to read something a little more smutty. And so it is a smutty, dark kind of romance. There's a lot, I guess it depends on your definition of the dark. There's a lot of violence and like manipulation and enemies to lovers type things in it. So I personally would define that as being a dark romance. And so, yeah. But what I like the most about this book is that after the three series, the first three followed the three sisters into the games where they had to compete in these different areas of the fairy fey world in order to um, win their freedom after trespassing. Whatever, you learned it all in book one. But because of that, those timelines and those situations all get wrapped up in books one, two, and three. And this book picks up after book three, where the Fey world is in jeopardy and it kind of finishes off the actual plot of why the girls were being forced to go through these horrible games and that in the first three books to begin with. So this book was less about the smut, more about the wrapping up of the actual plot and story behind the smut and that. So I really appreciated this because a lot of times when you're reading a fantasy book you um, that is an emphasis on romance, you lose out on things in the plot. There's like holes, there's things left out and forgotten. And that frustrates me as somebody who's very plot driven in a story and wants to know everything that's going to happen and what happens after the fact in that. So this book was fantastic because it gave an entire book to resolve the entire thing that had been going on. The other fun thing about this book is in books one, two, and three, um, Kiss the Fae, Hunt the Fae, and Curse the Fae, we followed each of the three sisters, Lark, Juniper, and Cove, and got their point of views in each of their stories. However, in this book, we got the three male main characters' point of views. So we got Cerulean, then we got Puck, and then we got Elixir. And I love Puck and Juniper. They're my favorite couple in the series. And I liked getting into Puck's head because he is like, he swears like a sailor. He's a satyr. He is exactly what you expect a satyr to be. He swears, he's promiscuous, he's constantly talking and thinking about sex. He's got horns, like antlers growing out of his head. He's got um, goat legs. Like I just, I love the character so much. He cracks me up in the best possible way. And the fact that Juniper is just like the polar opposite of this nerdy, quiet, like scholarly type person. I just, I adore it. But so getting in his head was a lot of fun, getting into, and the main character, the three guys were done very well, as in each of them was different and you could tell that like that Puck is more forward and is more vulgar and that where Cerulean is more thought of like a gentleman, he's more well-spoken and you would think of him as being like more lordly and just more like, <laughs> whereas Puck is like, what the fuck do you want? And Elixir is just surly and pissy. And like, it's almost like he's the goth or the emo of the group because he's just snarly all the time and not in the like sarcastic entertaining way that Puck is. So that, made for a really fun story and the bonus one at the end in the epilogue was just chef's kiss made me so very very happy so bravo natalia jaster i love this series i'm actually sad it's over with because i love the character so much but i guess i have to go now and see what else she's written because she has wowed me with this series so if you like smutty romances that take place in fantasy worlds and have um, a little bit of a dark edge to them and have actual story plot behind them and aren't just about the erotica check out the vicious fair series Right here, vicious fact. Because I had so much fun with this book and I honestly think you'll like it. It is on Kindle Unlimited. So if like me, you are obsessed with your Kindle Unlimited, you will be able to get the entire series on KU. So yay, even better, free book. But all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and happy reading. Oh, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of my fantastic book reviews. Bye.